welcome on stage the Deputy High Commissioner for Jamaica, Mrs. Angela Rose Howell, who will connect us to that wonderful island in the Caribbean. Deputy High Commissioner, Your Excellency, please come on stage and give us a few words. Here she is. We're going to reach out to Jamaica all the way from halfway three from Hero Square. I even went to Mandeville. Yes, I'm very well, thank you. Thank you very much for your attention. Host Anita Bala and our compere Henry Bonsu, Mr. John Crabtree, Lord Lieutenant of West Midlands and Mrs. Crabtree, Mr. Andy Street, Mayor of West Midlands and tonight's special guest speaker, Dr. Beverly Lindsay, OBE, OD, Vice Lord Lieutenant of the West Midlands, Councillor Yvonne Mosquito, Mayor of Birmingham, Mr. Wade Lynn, CBE, Honorary Council of Jamaica, Birmingham, and staff of the Consulate, as well as the Jamaica Tourist Board, Mrs. Marcia McLaughlin, the, senior, the CEO and founder of Phoenix Newspaper, Mr. Keith Stokes Smith, Chair of the Greater Birmingham Commonwealth Chamber of Commerce, I just realized Ms. Tessa Sanderson, CBE, is also here, distinguished members of the Nigerian royal family, High Commission of Pakistan and other members of the Diplomatic and Consular Corps, representatives of the City Council of the Armed Forces and of the Police who are being honored this evening. Tonight's awardees, representatives of the J of Jamaican businesses, organizations and groups, the clergy, the media, performers, distinguished representatives all, good evening. I bring you warm greetings and congratulations on this cold evening from His Excellency Seth George Ramakan, CD, High Commissioner, and the team of the Jamaican High Commission on the occasion of the eighth anniversary of the Phoenix newspaper. It certainly is an honor and pleasure for my family and I to be here among this distinguished audience as we highlight and celebrate the accomplishments of Phoenix newspaper over the past eight years. At the outset, I want to congratulate Ms. Marcia McLaughlin, the CEO and founder, who is looking resplendent tonight, and as she always does, on the remarkable work undertaken over the years in projecting positive news about the Afro-Caribbean community and in promoting awareness of the unique and multicultural nature of the United Kingdom. I understand, though it's hard to believe, that Marcia's experience in media spans close to 35 years, which means that her positive contribution to information sharing has been long-standing and predates the establishment of the newspaper. It may well have been the impetus to the birth of the newspaper, which eight years later is a source of great inspiration and motivation to the Afro-Caribbean community and to the wider readership. Its availability, both online and free in print, has made it an accessible source of information, not only to persons in Birmingham, the Midlands, or even the United Kingdom, but all across the world. I wish to echo the sentiments expressed by High Commissioner Ramakan in his message printed in your program, that Miss Marcia is a proud daughter of Jamaican soil and a Windrush descendant who should be commended for her visionary leadership and spirit of goodwill in highlighting not the negative, the usual negative news, but the positive stories of the countries and peoples of African Caribbean heritage, their accomplishments and activities. This evening's event is being held towards the end of a year, which was comprised of numerous celebrated, celebratory activities and milestones, including, as you would have heard before, the 70th anniversary of the docking of the Empire Windrush, the 70th anniversary of the Nash establishment of the National Health Service, both of which benefited from the significant contribution of members of the Commonwealth, specifically those from the Caribbean, such as Jamaica. This year, as you know, the United Kingdom also hosted the important Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting, which among other things, highlighted the rich and cultural diversity of the Commonwealth nations. 
This evening's gala and award ceremony fittingly celebrates all these milestones and equally important, it recognizes the contributions of the armed, force in the armed forces and cadets, as well as women in business, such as Marcia. Before closing, I want to briefly recognize the indomitable strength of women, Afro-Caribbean women, Jamaican women, who, as you well know, are naturally strong women. As mothers, they have traditionally sacrificed and nurtured their families, providing well-needed guidance and support. Over the years, they have made significant progress in the home, in education, in various fields, including science, technology, religion, and politics. Jamaica is one of the few countries in Latin America that has had a female head of government. Our current foreign minister is the first and youngest person to serve in this capacity. A recent World Bank study also, also shows that 95% of girls in Jamaica are privileged to attend schools, with many matriculating to and graduating from tertiary level institutions. At the same time, over 40% of our women own businesses, and 75% of women hold accounts in financial institutions, which is the highest in the Caribbean. Jamaican women are also now represented in vital decision-making positions across the world. These all speak to the, the efforts over the years to empower our women. Right here in Birmingham, in this room, are many well-accomplished Jamaican women who we are proud of, including the CEO of Phoenix newspaper. We, you proudly represent the strong Jamaican brand. We're so proud of you and we appreciate your role as de facto ambassadors of Jamaica as you continue to fly our flags high here in the United Kingdom. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, I want to reiterate my commendations to Ms. McLaughlin and the Phoenix team. The turnout this evening is a reflection of the appreciation of her committed work. I thank all of you who continue to support her and to encourage others to do the same as she provides this well-needed and valuable service. On behalf of the government of Jamaica, please accept very best wishes in all your endeavors.